Hey everyone, Robin Graham here, and today I want to talk to you about a true story. My friend, and actually this is the second person in the past week that I have had tell me that this happened to them. Their Instagram account was hacked. What happens when your Instagram account is hacked? You lose everything. You lose your followers, you lose the content that you've created, and it's a really big risk for any of us to use social media as our main platform for growing our business. So I'd like to talk a little bit about this today and kind of reframe your thinking. Last week on The Robin Graham Show, I interviewed Brittany Gardner, who is a content creation strategist, and we talked all about cornerstone content. She she has a, a, a concept for cornerstone content, which makes so much sense. And the reality is if you take cornerstone content and you put that content on a platform that you own, like a blog post, a podcast, a video platform like Vimeo or YouTube, you can create your content in a way that you own that content. No one can take it away from you. No one can hack it. You own that content and you can then repurpose that content. The key to repurposing content is that you're saving yourself time and energy. And we know that when you save time, you're actually saving money because time is our greatest commodity and that one thing that we can't afford to lose. So when you think about content and you think about how overwhelming it can be, let's make content creation easier and let's make it so that when we create content, we create that content to provide value across multiple platforms to multiple audiences, um, our, our audience, but yet, you know, our audiences we know are, can vary from place to place. So the cornerstone places, the cornerstone content um, platforms, you have a blog, use your blog. When you're doing your blog, you are setting yourself up to be found on Google. Any type of blog post that you write 300 words plus, if you set up your headings and subheadings and write it in a way that is great for SEO where you're using keywords and key phrases, you're going to help Google find you. You're and they're going to see you as putting out valuable and valuable information in the world and they're going to then share you when people put in their request or their search. Okay, so blogging number 1, so 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 important for growing your audience putting out great content, and then being able to repurpose that. You can take quotes from your blog post, you can take a paragraph, and then you can do a couple of different things with that blog post. And when we talk about podcasting, it's gonna be the exact same. You can take your podcast and create a blog out of it that is SEO ready and gonna attract traffic to your website. So for both your podcast and your um for, for your blog and your podcast, then you can take paragraphs from that, put those into email, and then direct those people in your email list back to one or the other so that you're driving traffic to your website or you're driving traffic to your podcast. You're giving people just enough information to spike their curiosity and you're teaching them a little something, but when they want more, they have some place to go to get more information, additional information, um, to dive deeper into that subject that you're telling them you just wrote about or that you just spoke about. Then the same holds true for a video platform. You can send an email out to tell your people that, hey, I just put up a new training. You can view the training here. And um, like for me, this platform, I come in here, I go live like usually once a week. Sometimes I, I'm not able to, but typically once a week. And then I repurpose this these videos and put them on YouTube so that yes, I'm doing this for you guys because you're my immediate community. But I also put them on YouTube because there's there's so much value. I want to be able to help as many people as I can. It'll help us grow this group, but also help drive traffic to my website. So it gives opportunity to expand our audiences and to grow our community, which we know when we grow our community, we allow for more opportunities for collaborations, more opportunities for um, referrals and just growing our community is is so key for overall brand and business success. Okay, so now we've talked about those three cornerstone platforms. 
always, always, always grow your email list because as you grow your email list, you can connect with those people at any given time. You can share whatever information you want to share at any point in time you want. You own your email list. So you own your blog, you own your podcast, if you have one, you own your YouTube channel, you own your email list. Those are the platforms that you wanna focus putting content out on a regular basis. Bring in those people to your community so that you can build relationships, build the trust factor. When you use social media as your main source of marketing, you put yourself at risk. You put your business at risk because at any given point in time, your account could be hacked, Instagram or Facebook could go down, um, you could you know, be hacked and lose followers, you could you know, experience the fact that those platforms can go away at any point in time. The owners of those platforms, they don't really care about you and me or individual businesses. They care about themselves and the money that they're generating for themselves and their businesses. That They're big businesses. Facebook and Instagram are big business. It's They're not looking out for entrepreneurs and the individuals that are trying to build businesses. Use those platforms with caution. Don't put all your eggs in those baskets. Use those to repurpose that cornerstone content that you're gonna create for your blog, your podcast, for your video platform, and then for your email list. It's great to share it. Use those platforms as opportunities to grow your resource, your your list for your email, um, but don't put all your eggs in that basket as that is your marketing strategy. That is your strategy for growing your business. Your brand marketing strategy should include content creation and that content should always have, should always provide value. It should entertain, it should inspire. That content is, that content strategy becomes part of your overall brand marketing strategy but you have to have it, you have to have a strategy for using that content. And that strategy should be to publish the content first and foremost on the platforms you own and then share it to the platforms that you don't own. All of those will give you opportunity to grow your audience, to build, to build trust and to convert to clients. But most importantly, you do not want to lose that content. You do not want to risk losing all of your followers. So the more opportunity you have to create free content to create a lead magnet or a freebie, do that so and drive that traffic back to your blog, to your email list so that you can always reach your audience without having to worry what happens if I get hacked? What happens if I lose all my Instagram followers? What happens if Facebook goes down? Okay, that's the end of the training for today. Thank you for being here. Like I said, if you um, want to follow more trainings, I always put these over onto my YouTube channel. Um, the podcast episode that I was referring to, I will link in the comments so that if you're interested in learning more about Brittany Gardner's philosophy on creating content, um, making content, measuring content, and then multiplying the content, um, I will put the link to that podcast episode in the comments. And um, that's it. If you have any questions whatsoever about creating a brand marketing strategy, I invite you to jump on a call with me. I offer a free or complimentary call and we can review what you're struggling with, where you're struggling to create content. Maybe you don't have a blog and don't know how to blog and use a blog for SEO, or maybe you just are starting out and you lack clarity and you need some guidance on diving deeper into your purpose and diving into who your ideal audience is and creating that strategy so that you can connect with all of those people and then convert them to clients. I would love to help you. I'd love to learn more about your businesses. Comment in the comments if you have questions and if you'd like to book that call, I will put that link in the comments as well so that you can easily access my calendar and get on the phone or on Zoom together to talk about your strategy and how we can move your business forward. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks for being here.